Mastering time-saving techniques for the GMAT and GRE. Hey learners! Today, we're diving deep into one of the most crucial aspects of test-taking, time management. Specifically, we'll explore some effective time-saving techniques for the GMAT and GRE. By mastering these techniques, you'll be better equipped to pace yourself during the test and maximize your score. The GMAT and GRE are timed tests. This means that for each section, you're given a limited amount of time to answer all the questions. It's not just about getting the right answers, but also about doing so efficiently. Failing to manage your time can lead to rushed answers or, worse, leaving questions unanswered. That's why understanding and practicing time-saving techniques is crucial. 1. Skim the passage, especially in the reading comprehension section, instead of reading the entire passage in detail initially, skim it. Look for the main idea, structure, and tone. This will give you a general sense of the passage without spending too much time. 2. Highlight keywords, while skimming, note keywords or phrases. They often give you clues about the main ideas and can guide you when answering questions. 1. Cross out clearly wrong options. On both the verbal and quantitative sections, some choices can be eliminated right away because they are obviously incorrect. By narrowing down your choices, you can focus on the most likely correct answers. 2. Look for extremes. Options that use words like, always, never, all, or, none, can often be eliminated, as they tend to be too extreme. 1. Educated guesses. If you're unsure of an answer, eliminate as many wrong choices as you can, and make an educated guess from the remaining options. There's no penalty for wrong answers, so it's better to guess than to leave it blank. 2. Pace yourself. If you're spending too much time on a single question, it's okay to make an educated guess and move on. Remember, each question counts the same, so don't get bogged down. 1. Organize your thoughts. Use the scratch paper provided to jot down formulas, structures, or ideas. It can help you process information quicker. 2. Quick calculations. Instead of doing arithmetic mentally, which can lead to errors, quickly jot down your calculations. This is especially useful for the quantitative section. And there you have it. Time-saving techniques that can significantly impact your GMAT or GRE experience. Remember, practice makes perfect. Incorporate these techniques into your preparation, and you'll find yourself more confident and calm on test day. Good luck, and may your pacing be ever in your favor.